Um, but it was at that moment you opened the soda and some of the moisture dripped down and in between your breasts that I couldn't help myself. <laughs> and you know that I kissed you? And you really for it. <laughs> Is this all in the no, tune no. that you're on right now? Sure. This is such up or no script. <laughs> so we took our ill-gotten love uh, into the back amongst all the carpets, you know, as we did, <laughs> as we do. We found the softest one we could find and we literally rolled into it until we became a fuck burrito. Was it a shag <laughs> You know, shag carpet and the shag, shag into the shag. Oh, that's so hot. That was an inside joke between you and me for years. We would shag in the shag, people would look at us, we'd laugh and laugh, and then we'd fuck, obviously. But, uh, came one day when you lost your pet falcon, Igor. That was a hard day for both of us. Igor was a good member of the family. He used to catch us fish rapists and all kinds of useful things. Uh, rapists yeah. are useful? <sighs> rapists? They, they actually are really good at replacing carpet, which brings us back to the whole family business thing. thing. <laughs> Stay with it. But you know the rest of the story. You can tell it if you want. If you don't, it's fine. I'm getting a little emotional. You're thinking about Igor, my rapist catcher. <gasps> he was so good at that. I'd like to hear the rest of the story, Flea. It's too hard for me and painful to talk about. Yes, let's hear the rest of this disturbing story. Well, even though we met in a carpet factory and our fathers were working together and, you know, I enjoyed the, the moisture down her bosom and all that joy and the fuck burrito. Don't forget the fuck burrito. Our, our most memorable moment is when she picked me up for my Little League game. Now, technically, it wasn't my Little League game. I just creeped on little kids, but that's a different story. We'll tell that another day. <laughs> uh, I had gotten in trouble with the coach, and I was like... Oh my god, you gotta pick, pick me up, you gotta, we gotta do this, like, if you'll pick me up now, I might go to jail, I'm just like, ah, I can't have that, so she, she Your got onto her, telling two, skills are phenomenal. she got into her 10 speed bicycle, and she, <laughs> she rode at me, she just was like, she, I mean, she cut fucking rubber into the pavement, like, this bitch, she knows how to ride, <laughs> obviously <laughs> she knows how to ride, back to the fuck burrito thing, we already know. She gets there, and I'm and I'm strapped in a fisticuff mode with the uh, with the coach at this point. Like it's it's going down, man. This motherfucker's hitting me in the mouth, and in the bowels, and in all kinds of places. I can't do anything. I'm like, I'm a little man. I can't I can't defend myself. She jumps in. She stabs this motherfucker, but she doesn't realize it's her purse and it doesn't really do anything. So this guy laughs at her. We all laugh, and then we roll up in the grass and we fuck. That's a long story. I'll tell that later. <laughs> But after we're done having coitus in the dirt, we ended up going to uh, Ruby's, which is a local eatery. Uh, she buys me a strawberry milkshake and some fries. She shows me that dipping fries in the strawberry milkshake is actually pretty delicious. I was like, bitch, that sounds gross. But it's good. <laughs> we share some eye contact get into her car. Now, I said she picked me up with a 10-speed bicycle, but fuck you, you believed me. It was actually a car. It was a little Mi Miata. I don't know if that's a real car. Fuck it, sure. It's a Miata. Black leather. That's cool, too. A little nice. It wasn't nice. <laughs> to be continued. I just got comfy on the carpet to hear the rest of the story. No, no tell more. Let me gather myself. Horny I'm time. a little emotional right now. Only a little? Which I, which I forgot to tell you our real name. Oh, wait, I think I told you. My name's Terry. And her name is... Help me out here. What was I her name? I thought it was Terragon or something. 
Terragon. <laughs> Terry and Terry. That's... That's... That's cool. just all kinds of fucking brilliant. It is, it is. My apologies. So, my name is Terry Fillmore. Her name is Terragon. Fuckface. <laughs> yeah, it's just fuck. Hell on hell. <laughs> So when we got into her car, lo and behold, she's turning the, the fucking ignition over. She's like, it's not fucking starting, babe. And I was like, babe, whoa, don't go too fast. I mean, we just fucked in the dirt with that coach. Another day, another story. <laughs> anyway, it wouldn't turn over. We didn't start the car. So I was like, all right, pop the fucking hood. Let's have a look. So we get out of the car. We go out front. We pop the hood. We realize it's one of those rear engine things. I slap her for being fucking stupid and forgetting that. So we go to the back of the car. <laughs> oh my god! Little bowl, somebody, somebody disconnected the battery. I was like, hey, wait, which motherfucker would disconnect the battery? And this deep brooding voice in the background said, "Me, motherfucker." And it's a big black dude in spandex, literally just bottom spandex, no top, no nothing. I mean, he's pretty much naked other than this huge dick bulge he's got up front and his black spandex. He's, he's a black man. Did I mention he's black man? He's a black man. It's just me, motherfucker. And I was like, why the fuck would you disconnect her car battery? And she goes, I've been meaning to tell you, that's my real father. And I was like, motherfucker, what? Charlie, you have spandex. Ten years I mean, it's 10 years I've known her in the carpet business. That man in the carpet, I mean, the fuck burrito, you know, that place? That wasn't her father. You should be playing with this. big black man. <laughs> what? And he obviously had an issue with me. So we went to throw down. It turned into a Pokemon battle. I stole some of his cards, like his dice went missing. Whatever, <laughs> I won. He was fucking horrible in his Pokemon. He, 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 he got a horrible roster. He left. He put on more clothes as he left, though, because reasons. Uh, but her plans were to slowly introduce me, not this Pokemon battle shit, but the, you know, that's through the window, whatever, romance, we kiss, it's cool, it's good, let's go. So we got in the fucking car, I slapped her again just for good measure, and then we went to uh, her house. She decided, let's watch a movie, let's Netflix and chill. Now you gotta remember, this is 15 years ago. Netflix and chill wasn't a thing. I didn't even know, know what fucking Netflix was. It didn't exist. This bitch could read the future. So we sat down. To, <laughs> we sat down to Boys Don't Cry, which I fucking hated, but she loved. Whatever, it's cool. I made some popcorn. We didn't eat the popcorn. We just threw it around the room and stepped on it because we love the feel of underneath our feet. It's a bunch of crunch. It's good. It's kind of a food porn thing we have. It's another story another day. And then we went into her room. Now her room consisted of, and this is going to sound a little weird, 15 aquariums filled with only rocks and lizards. Now you're thinking, all right, so there's some rocks on the bottom and some lizards on top. You know, it's an aquarium. It's so what they do. No, they were literally thrown in haphazardly. And some of the li lizards were crushed by the rocks. It's fucking horrible. I judged her on that. That's another story another day. But after I noticed all these aquariums, what caught my attention? What caught my fucking attention, let me tell you. It's the fact that she had no bed. So I asked this bitch, where do you sleep? She had no answer. She had no fucking answer. So I asked her again, bitch, where do you sleep? <laughs> and she says, honestly, if I have to tell you the truth, my car. Okay, so we leave her fucking apartment, we go back to her car. Back to her car. <laughs> that wouldn't start again. That's fine, we're gonna just sleep there, we're gonna drive. So we get into her car. It's a little car, a little tight car, the fucking whatever. She had a bike in there, it's cool. My cat just attacked me in real life. Story over, ow. <laughs> <laughs> Give me a second. Ow. <laughs> I'm bleeding. Yeah, you stupid gun. Why'd you fucking... Oh. D. 
Deep breaths. Deep breaths. Oh, I'm fine. There I said deep speed. breaths, damn it. Oh. Oh. Just Max, sit down, you're ruining the story time magic. I think the story is over, I'm bleeding now. Aw, oh, come on. I don't... Are... You were on some whore of a cat. Oh, okay, that's right, I was in a little Miata, if that's a car, rear engine, with a girl whose dad is a carpet salesman, but her actual dad is a spandex wearing black man. Her name is Terragon Fuckface. Are we caught up? No. Is that about right? Oh, fuck burrito. Forgot about that. We were in a fuck burrito. But that was earlier. Anyways. Nope, I'm lost. You went down to the car. There was a blanket. Yeah, yeah it we're was in okay. the car. There, there was a blanket. It was okay. It was a good blanket. It was... That's right. Thank you for reminding me. This blanket... <sighs> this blanket, my god. Such a huge argument over this fucking blanket. So her mother, her dead mother, who actually wasn't dead, she just told me that to get pity out of me so I'd fuck her again, uh, quilted this thing. Supposedly. Out of... Dead animal parts, right? I know it sounds weird, but it's a family thing. I don't know. Tarragon fuckface and her family are weird. So, we get under this blanket that she wouldn't let me get under, that she wouldn't let me get under. Where am I? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, I lost it, I can't keep... What was the blanket made out of? I don't know, dead animal parts? I feel like Fizzles is here. We're all no. sitting down waiting for this story. Look at us. I love spinning. The room is spinning. The story is the room. Okay. Hold on. Let me spin with the room. There you go. Now my tune is on par with what real life is. Yeah. Ha, 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 I think I can catch up. Alright, here we go. Gotta channel the Obi Ray. So we're in her car. We end up getting under the blanket. She touches my thigh very gently. She looks me in the face. She says, if you could tell me right now, what is your favorite moment in your life? And I had to tell her right now. She said, oh my God, it's so romantic. She goes in to kiss me. A big fucking explosion happens outside of the car. We, ah, we both jerk around. We're, what the fuck was that shit, motherfucker? Ends up being her big black dad in the spandex. We talked about him earlier was throwing grenades at our car. Now he wasn't a big toss. Thank God. So we scramble, scramble under the blanket. We're like, fuck, 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 fuck. We gotta get out. These fucking grenades being thrown at me. This motherfucking black guy's band. This motherfucking... So we throw the blanket. Get out of the fucking car. Get out of the fucking car. Get the fucking car. Turn on the car. Thank God the car turns on. We actually fixed it. Remember that story for real? We start driving away. We're driving fast, driving fast. Fuck, we clipped her dad. That motherfucking grenades. Problem being, when we clipped him, he pulled a pin, dropped a grenade, blew himself to a motherfucking black man bit. It's horrible. Black man bit's ever. She's crying. I'm like, just drive, you motherfucker, just drive. Wrap them tears from your eyes, you weak bit. She wipes the tire, she just, just, just go. Tarragon fuckface just drives like she's never driven before because grenade. So we get to Albuquerque. I don't know where we were before, but it's obviously near Albuquerque because we're here now. We stop in an in and out restaurant. Have you ever seen the in and out restaurant? Pretty good. Pretty good. I know we just ate, but fuck it. We're fat. We didn't give a shit. We got out of the car. Went inside. And she's like, You want to experience something? You want to experience something real right now? You want to experience this shit? I was like, What are you looking at me weird for? You're whispering. I can't even understand you. She's like, You want to win something? I still can't understand you, bitch. What the fuck? She pulls out a gun. She pulls out a gun. She points at me. She says, I'm going to hold this motherfucker hostage unless you give me all the burgers in the motherfucking world. I didn't know what to do. I literally came into my pants. It was the hottest thing I'd ever seen. So everyone's fucking scrambling. They're like, get our burgers. What the fuck? This bitch is crazy. So they start piling up burgers. Pop, 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 pop. In the meantime, for some reason, she's jacking me off in the middle of the fucking restaurant. I don't know why she's doing it. I already came, but whatever. She she needs to do what she does. You know? I mean, it's her. She do, she does what she Tear off fuck face, right? <laughs> so we 
we get a bunch of burgers about up to our knees she looks around and she says not enough and pulls the trigger out comes the water we all laugh god damn this bitch had a squirk on the entire fucking time you kidding me and I came in public and she's jerking me off you bitch so that's where we planned our wedding right then and there we fucking went right then and there with all the burgers around and the fucking tellers they were like oh we'll be your witnesses uh, I realize meat patties and buns are good witnesses which obviously I have to agree with inanimate food is not a good witness to a wedding So we said our vows, her vows were something about how my cock is inadequate, and I cried, it was beautiful. And my vows were about her real daddy being black and blown up to bits back there by a fucking grenade. That was also beautiful, she cried. And then fast forward two years. For some reason we were still in that restaurant because we didn't realize we could leave. Everyone by that point really knew us quite well. We had our kids in that restaurant. I can't fucking talk about this anymore. This is where it gets really painful. One of her children fucking choked on. <sighs> Wait for it. A urinal cake? Oh god, I know. He just heard the word cake. Little Jimmy was a fat bitch. He just heard the word cake. He tried to eat it. He fucking choked to death. <laughs> So fast forward another two years, and we're actually rocket engineers. We decided to build a spaceship to commemorate Jimmy. So, Tarragon Fuckface, Terry, whatever the fuck my last name was, I don't care, I can't remember. We decide to get into a spaceship that we built from scratch with random shit we found around the house and carpets, because you know our daddy. We went to space. What we found in space was Tavion take over the store. Oh. Man, TV on is a horrible story. I know. The fuck? I couldn't keep focused, I'm sorry. We could tell. It's okay. <laughs> I think they've learned enough. Uh, because the storyteller couldn't keep focused, nobody kept focused.